On hot days, me and my twin sister would take trips to the frozen Isle of Iceland, shoving frozen petty poires under our armpits like briefcases filled with scriptures of how to stay cool during the unpredictable British forecasts. On cold days, we'd follow mum around Tesco, waiting to pass the rotisserie counter, so we could get our turn to hug the steaming bag of chicken around the supermarket. If this day fell on a Monday, Wednesday or Friday, it was my turn, and if it was a Tuesday, Thursday or Saturday, it was theirs. It was a fair deal, as on their hooker chicken day, it would be my turn to ride in the front seat of Mum's Peugeot 107. I think about smoking in a romantic sense, smoking in films, of us smoking as a coping mechanism, smoking as an addiction, how smoke feels like such a texture of the past, the nostalgia to the old smoke smell that clung to my granddad's furniture and the brown nicotine tinge that was left on his walls and fingernails, how industrial towns and cities would be characterised by their smell of smoke and mimicking the actions of factory chimneys through a small rolled-up cigarette was a purposeful act of remembering.